caucus is to benefit the community. I yes. mean, that's what it's all about. Yes. Barack Obama, sh should Mr. Fur Murphy be allowed to join? Well, you know, I think uh, the first thing that's important is to distinguish uh, uh, two issues that I think we're conflating in the debate. Uh, and one is the issue that Furman raised, and that is can a white represent a black community effectively or vice versa? And I think there's no question that uh, whites can effectively represent blacks in the same way that blacks can effectively represent whites. Um, and, and that's the law of the land. Uh, you know, when the 18th Ward was drawn, it is a majority minority district in the sense that the objective was to provide African Americans in that ward an opportunity to elect the candidate of their choice. It did not dictate that, in fact, that choice had to be a black person. And from all indications, uh, Alderman Murphy is working hard, he's capable, and he was elected uh, uh, within these new boundaries. So, Although the, at least one member of the Black Caucus is saying, Dorothy Tillman is saying, that the goal of the Black Caucus should be to get a black person as, rep as, as representative of the 18th Ward. But the, my point from a legal perspective is that uh, the issue of what, uh, who represents who is what it has been settled. And that is not the issue, as I understand it, that's on the table. Fine. So issue so, number two, is so it racist issue, to exclude Tom Murphy from the Black Caucus? Issue number two, I think, is similar to the issues that come up when we're discussing, let's say, um, historically black colleges or a, a woman's organization or uh, uh, other groups where this is an informal organization. It, it doesn't have a public charter. It's an ad hoc uh, well, well, it, it, Exactly. And, and essentially what, what I think you can argue is the rationale for having a black caucus is that historically underrepresented groups, and that may not just be blacks, that may be women, that may be gays and lesbians or what have you, may feel that they have difficulty establishing their agenda in the overall uh, organization, uh, you know, the broader institution that they're a part of. And so they set up a caucus so that they can have some internal conversations about what is our agenda, how do we present it, how should we uh, deal with other groups and other interests. But the, so in that context, uh, the, what the black alderman may simply be saying is, look, uh, we need a space in the same way that, let's say, a black law students association needs a space to have conversations to discuss issues. but that doesn't mean that they shouldn't be working in alliance with all kinds of other groups in terms of actually setting an agenda that's representative of uh, their constituents. Mr. Sessoms, what's wrong with uh, Thomas Murphy simply working in conjunction with the Black Caucus 